Hi everyone. Um, let's chat for a few moments about the three body problem um, by Si Xin Lu. Um, also, um, I see uh, this author's name written a lot of times as Lucy Shin, and I discovered the reason why for that is because in China um, the surname comes first. So his surname is actually Lu, and so Lucy Shin would be how it would normally be structured, but you see here on the cover, it's actually in the English uh, way of Si Xin Lu. But anyway, that's why sometimes it's one way and other times it's the other way. This was translated by Ken Lu, um, who is also a science fiction, um, American science fiction author um, as well. I have had this on my radar to read since last year um, because I read... Um, I read The Wandering Earth um, by Lucy Shin last year, and it was so cool. It was a novella, so it was very sort of short, but it was so atmospheric and it was so well done that I knew I wanted to read something else um, by him, you know, soon. And so when I was constructing my TBR for this year, I thought, okay, I definitely have to get some Lucy Shin on my TBR. And I chose, um, I chose the three-body problem because it... Um, it had been published back in like 2006, I think, in China. It was published in 2014 in the U.S., and it went on to win the Hugo Award in 2015. Um, so I knew that it was, um, you know, a well-thought-of um, work, so I thought I'll start with that. It's actually book one of a trilogy called The Remembrance of Earth's Past, I think is the name of that, tr that trilogy. So there are a couple more books after this one which after reading this, I will definitely um, go on to to read in, at some point in the future. So what this is about, um, this is about, um, it starts back in the past, actually during the Cultural Revolution of China. So um, kind of the, I guess the 1960s, and this was a period of time I gathered from the book. I don't know a lot about this historically, but um, where... Um, Edu ed the ed intellectuals were mistrusted, and so um, they were persecuted. Many of them were killed, sent away to labor camps. And so our story starts with um, a young astrophysicist, and her name is Ye uh, Wenji, and she is um, the daughter of, uh, of, of scientists as well. And um, she has a very difficult time during the Cultural Revolution. I don't want to give a lot away about the plot in general because um, it was one of these books, it's one of these books where um, it would be very easy, I think, to think to kind of, you know, distract from the reading of it if, if anyone chooses to read it, haven't read it in the future, haven't read it, but yet you want to read it in the future. I don't want to dis distract from that in any way. So I don't want to give away a lot in the plot, but she has actually had struggles quite a bit during the Cultural Revolution, and, um, you know, she's quite scarred by it. And then, you know, the other part of the book takes place in sort of a really near future, um, and um, it um, we we, are, we have another character um, at this point, and his his name is Wang Miao, and he is a uh, works in um, nanotechnology. He's a nanotech engineer, and um, he gets absorbed in a game called the Three Body uh, the Three Body Problem game. It's a game. It's a virtual reality game. So what this story basically is, though, is a first context story. So. Um, you know, it's, it's, um, it's, it, I don't want to give again, get away too much about how that first contact happens or what happens as a result of it. But ultimately that's what kind of the gist of the story is about. It's also a very hard science fiction study. There's a lot of really, uh, in-depth science in it, um, as well, but really basically what, what the, the story is revolving around, um, is, um, this contact with the with an alien civilization, and then the three body problem game. The three body problem is actually a, a problem in um, in science in um, in physics, I guess, um, where it's the difficulty in predicting um, when you have three different um, you know bodies like planets or stars um, that are um, related to each other predicting where they are going to be at any given moment um, is, um, you know, that's a, a, 
I, rather unsolvable, I gather. Um, so the cool part about this game, though, and I think I can give this away without detracting too much for the story, is that it's sort of a civilization building game where um, um, the civilization, there's the, a world where um, there is um, a chaos, chaos, like it's unpredictable, their, um, their climate basically is unpredictable and so um it this civilization may make it to um maybe the industrial age and then it's destroyed because of some climate catastrophe um and so the struggle in the game is actually to predict when the stable era is going to arrive as opposed to a chaotic era and um but there's a lot more to this game it turns out than just that sort of surface um that sort of surface idea we find out. Um, so I know I haven't given away a whole lot about like what the book's about, but um, it is, um, let's just say there is an alien contact um, and um, this the reaction of different, of course, people um, have different thoughts about that. Um, you know, they have different thoughts about um, the benefit or the, the, risk or um, um, just the details in general about the alien contact and what that means for for humanity at large you know so some of my takeaway ideas you know the the science in it like I said is it's almost magical in parts you know how realistic it is you know I'm not a physicist or and I'm not a scientist so I don't know if it's all that believable um, it but it it definitely made for a very compelling story um, and it's definitely you know I definitely felt it you know felt it real as I was reading reading the story um, you know another kind of takeaway idea I had about the book though in general was you know how quickly an idea how quickly that people can grasp onto an idea as an ultimate ultimate truth and then they will go to how quickly that once that is established as an ultimate truth how quickly um, that becomes a, a dogma that can't be questioned and then how quickly we proceed from there to people being willing to go to almost any sort of destructive length to try to uphold that truth and to try to uh, defend that you know truth that they've established um, around that idea and um, how destructive that can can really be and that's kind of a main theme I took away um, really from from the book um, another one is sort of science as good and science as evil because science and scientists um, in this book are both um, there is um, not not a not a not a really well defined line of this is good for us because um, um, you know starting in the cultural revolution where science is you know viewed as a bad um, and then um, that impacted people um, that impacted one of our main characters um, you know Yin Wen Ji Yi Wen Ji um, where she then is affected by that really her whole life which is another sort of theme I think is like how um, how that you know a person's past experiences can really cause um, cause a person to to you know down lead a person down a certain road where um, they may make uh, without really reflecting on why they're doing what they're doing they may make you know some pretty pretty bad decisions and some pretty destructive decisions so um, I know this this chat's probably been pretty vague for anyone who has not read the book. Um, the book did not have the same sort of atmospheric um, sort of feel to it that The Wandering Earth did, but that's because I think The Wandering Earth was you know so so short. It was a novella. This is a full length full length novel, but it did have a lot in there um, to. You know, it was a really, it was a kind of a page turning story after um, the first kind of half of the book is set in the past, though, the sort of cultural revolution leading up to, um, you know, what the event happens that sets the stage for, you know, the present, the near future uh, rest of the book. Um, and so, but all that I found, you know, very compelling as well. Um, you know, it was sort of my first, I think, experience probably reading any kind of story that took place 
in China during the Cultural Revolution. And, you know, it really made me curious to learn a little bit more about that era of Chinese history because I find it sort of really fascinating um, that people would, um, that this sort of um, idea would take hold uh, somewhere, you know, in real history uh, where, um, it's not the first time it's happened in history, obviously, but where um, it went to such lengths to to sort of stamp out intellectualism um, and um, educated people and that type of thing. So I don't know a lot about that era, um, and I think I would really I'd really like to learn it, learn more about it. And then another another era of Chinese history that I thought was real interesting uh, that that caught my attention was during the game, you know, the, the three body game, the three three body problem game. Um, at one point, they're in the Warring States period which is a, an ancient period of China. And I thought that period uh, was really interesting because the game is really cool because you meet a lot of interesting people in the game. There there are like Isaac Newton and um, Copernicus. and um, But it's just the game itself. I, it, it would make such a great actual game. Um, I don't know if anyone's thought of like actually trying to develop a three-body body problem game. Um <laughs> An actual game, um, but that would be something that would be kind of fun, I think, to experience as well. So um, I think I'll leave the chat at this. I hope I didn't ramble too much, and this made a little bit of sense to anyone who hasn't actually read the book. Um, but if you do read the book, I just definitely didn't want to distract from from that experience because I did really enjoy it, and I will be reading the other couple of books in this trilogy just to finish out this story. So I'm, I'm real interested in um, in how that turns out. So those will be on. Uh, I'll I'll be reading those in the future at some point, so stay tuned for those videos to come. Take care. Bye.